Hi, this is Kish Loy from ASVAB Tutoring. In this video, you will be learning uh, about how ASVAB Tutoring works, how our online tutoring session go, uh, works, and um, how we prepare our students in getting higher scores. Uh, so I have uh, Joe with me today. So he will be doing his student evaluation. Uh, he wants to know about our system, how, how our uh, online tutoring works, and uh, let's find out uh, what he needs help with, and um, let's evaluate his uh, skills. Uh, please have a pen and paper, so you know you can write down some of the important stuffs. Mm, and uh, let's get started. Let me give him a call. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So I'm Kishaloy from Asbub Tutoring. I'll, I'll be helping you today with uh, evaluation and how, explain you, uh, walk you through how ASVAB tutoring actually works. Okay. Okay. So let me tell you something, um, some um, information about myself to you. Um, I live in New York. I graduated with an electrical engineering degree from Stony Brook University. And I've been working for uh, ASVAB tutoring for uh, four, four plus years. Okay. Uh, we're helping students all across the United States um, improve their scores and you know, people who are trying to get into ASVAB and working for the military. Um, so, yeah, we've been doing that. Um, last year, we had um, 400 students get higher scores, uh, really improve their scores um, in the test. Mm, so yeah, why why don't you tell me about yourself first a little bit? Um, so yeah, my name is Joe. Uh, right now I'm in college. I'm working on a English degree, and uh, I wanna when I graduate, I wanna enlist in the Air Force. And I've taken the ASVAB and some practice tests, and I'm just not getting the score that I want because I want to become an officer as well. So I just I just want the all the help I can get. Right. So you want to higher scores that will, yeah. you know, it's possible for you to go to that officer level rank. Um, yeah. Yeah. OK, I understand. And totally. Um, that's I'm going to test you on your skills level. I'm going to test you um, how many lessons you need and everything. We'll get to that soon. But yeah. before that, I want to show you how our system works. All right, Joe. So I'll be showing you this, our lesson plan, how everything works. Um, as you can see, uh, we have five complete lesson. Uh, this has all the math materials you need to know for the ASVAB. And um, also the English as well. Every lesson plan includes English lesson. By the way, uh, it's not here, but we have it separately. OK. All right. And every single lesson here would take uh, two hours. It's a two hour session. OK. All right. And. Uh, this uh, at the end of every lesson, right, we'll give you homework, both math and English. And. Uh, at the beginning of each lesson, we'll give you a practice test. OK. OK, so basically it's going to uh, test you on the previous lesson. If you know the material, if you have learned it properly, and if you know if you're using the right techniques to solve the problems. Sure. And will I just get the homeworks through? You'll send them to me through Skype? Yes. Okay. Skype. And, and you'll check and will I send them back to you so you can check them for me? Yes, you'll be okay. sending the homework so that I know you're doing them actually. And you're you know, you're responsible for the homework. You're responsible for uh, whatever material I send you to to practice. OK, um, you'll be doing them and send it back to me so that I know if you're you know, doing the work properly, because for certain problems, you need to show work to me. Yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, so, uh, and after after a certain time, you probably get fast and um, do some stuff in your head that I'll know, you know, that that is doable. But at first, I want to see all your work because I want to know how you're solving them. Hmm. And if you're getting the questions correct. OK. OK. Um, so yeah, um, we have five complete lesson plan for math and English. Uh, that will That is all you need to know. All right. Mm. 
Uh, as you can see here in lesson one, we have the foundation, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, simplifying, comparing two different fractions, comparing decimals, um, working with multiplication table. Oh, the, the multiplication table is very important. Uh, yeah. And I take it very seriously. Mm, we'll be learning fraction decimals, you know, the foundation first on our first two hours we meet. Sure. Right. Okay. And then we'll move on to percent and a lot of the other areas you need to take um, in no for the ASVAB test. Like percent, uh, interest rates, unit price, root, square root, cube root, scientific notation, PEMDAS, all these. Uh, these are still the foundation, but this is a little, little, little advanced. So our first lesson is basically the um, foundation lesson. Okay. All right. And so, yeah, so this is how our uh, lesson plan works. Uh, as I told you, um, so let me give you a quick evaluation. All right. Sure. And, uh, find out your skills skills level. All right. So, okay. All right. Um, so, like, so some of the ways I can even tell you is that we know seven times ten is. What is it? Um, 70, right? 70, yeah. Okay, so just, we can, like, get rid of 7 from here. That'll give us 63. Get rid of another 7, and we'll get 56. Because oh, 7, yeah. I have 8 7s, yeah. and I know what 7 times 10 is. So these are some of the techniques I, I teach my students. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, that helps next question I want you to answer is, let's say, a subtracting... Subtraction question, 78 minus 23.09. So, like, imagine you have $78 and you went shopping and you spent $23.09. Okay. What would the answer be? Like, what would your change be? Um, is it 54 something? 54 point something. Well, uh, let's let's do it. Let's okay. do it. So we have to put the decimal points. All right. So we're going to obviously make this into 10, this into 9, this into 7. All right. So 10 minus 9 would be 1. 9 minus, that would be 91, right? Yeah. Nine. Seven minus three is four. Seven minus two is five. Fifty-four point ninety-one. So you were close. You got fifty-four, and then the decimal part is ninety-one cents. Okay. Okay. So I see your skills level is not that actually is is good. You you know what I'm doing. That's a good thing. And all you need is I think is practice. So depending on um how comfortable you are will decide on how many lessons you need, how many you know, hours of actual tutoring you need and practice. That we can determine uh, soon. Okay. Let me give you one more question. I want to see like the basic foundation math, if you could. So I want to test you on uh, 395 divided by 5. Okay. Um. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Could you help me? Yeah, sure. So I'm dividing 395 by 5. And so I'll see. If, does 5 go into 3? Uh, no. No, because 3 is smaller than 5. Does yeah. 5 go into 39? Yes. All right. So since 5 doesn't go into 3, I'll put a 0 here. 5 okay. goes into 39. So how many times the most number of times it can go into 39? Um, 5 times... Seven. Seven, yes. Because five and seven would give me 35. Then I subtract, I get four. I bring down the five. Mm. 
my remainder four is smaller than five. So it makes sense that I got 35 as my uh, remainder when I multiply five times seven. So now I do five times what gives me 45? Um, Again, you see, that'll be multipli uh, multiplication table. It's testing you on multiplication table. Um, I, nine. Nine, okay, good. So my remainder is zero, I'm done. So my answer is 79, okay? Okay. Nine times. So, so far looks, you look good. Um, so far, I want more, uh, I want to test you on your fractions because ASVAB, uh, the test involves around a lot of fraction, decimals, and they use those in their word problems. That's what they use. So I want to test you on the uh, fraction, one third plus one half. Um, is it two fifths or two over five? Two over five. All right. So the first thing you have to do, no, it's, it's not two fifth. Um, first thing you have to do is you have to get a common denominator. Okay. All right. So the common denominator for three and two is the easiest way to get is multiply those two. Three times two is six. six. Three goes into six. How many times? Two, uh, times. two times. Two times, yes. So two, I'll multiply the numerator by as two, okay? So two times one would give two. Two goes into six, well, three times, right? Mm -hmm. So um, three times one would be three. The answer would be five sixth. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if we do more practice, such ways, then obviously you're going to improve and you'll be able to do this kind of problems in no time. You know, you'll be able to do those problems very soon. Um, and then they have a variable question in ASVAB, which is 3x minus 1 equal to 20. Just an example. Can you solve that? Solve for x for me? Um, okay. Um, is it seven? Yes. So the way it would be, yes, you got it right. X equals seven. That's good. So you do know how to do algebra. Mm -hmm. Um, here we'll do plus one, plus one, both side. 21 is equal to, this would become zero, right? Mm -hmm. Because minus one and plus one becomes zero. I have the three X left, divide by three, both side. X is equal to seven, seven, right? Right, okay, very good. Um, so yeah, I see that you have, uh, you know a few things in math. How is your English? Um, I'm not really entirely sure how, how good it would be. Well, I was, that's I fine, that, that's fine. If you, if, you, if you score really high on the math part and you improve from your previous score in English by practicing. Overall, you will have a better, higher score, correct? Okay. Yeah. That will help you get a better job at the uh, military. Mm, all right, so how our program works is that um, we, so what, what do you think? Uh, do you, how many lessons do you plan on taking? Um, I don't know. How long do you think I'll, I'll need based on just some of the evaluation? You will need, I would say, four to five lessons. Like you need probably like three weeks, two, two to three weeks of um, preparation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I see five to six lessons. Okay. Yeah. So what we have is... Um, this is how our, payment, how our payment works, four sessions. So I said you need probably five or six sessions. In, you're in yeah. the middle, you're in the middle right here. Yeah. Because we have to work on our multiplication table, some word problems, techniques, 
and uh, we have to you know first learn the, learn the fundamentals and then move with those move on to the um, word problems and that will take some time and okay. as also we have to work on our uh, word knowledge mm, and um, reading comprehension so i think you need six session as as what i say okay so that that'll be 420 two, four sessions two would be 280 in six sessions you would get actually seven seven session because one is free you get okay. one free mm, for 10 sessions uh, 10 sessions is for like uh students who cannot do like you know the, you already solved the algebra problem so you have a basic understanding yeah uh, for students the beginning level mm. and they get two free sessions by uh so basically 12 sessions to, to uh to be honest uh and uh so we accept payment through paypal and cash app you could send that to this number uh, this is deb's number uh, okay you know, he's the founder of ASBAP Tutoring. Hmm. Um, we also have uh, Facebook and uh, we're really active on Facebook. We are active on uh, Instagram. You can see like the success rates we have with our students, how uh, their sto scores were improved from like, I don't know, um, some students used to get like 20, 30 and they their scores went uh, to 80, 70 uh and some of them even got 90s so it depends on how serious you are how uh you know seriously you take this exam and you prepare yourself for three weeks all i'm asking is three weeks you know yeah uh, i'm mm -hmm. sorry did you say how long the sessions will be each already no uh the sessions are uh two hours okay Okay, one session is two hour, and so it'll be uh, seventy dollar each session, okay. seventy dollar one session. Yes. Okay. And then will will it have to be? Uh, is it any day that will it be the best for me? Or yeah, we, we we decide on that. Basically, we we go along with the student. So okay. whatever day is whatever day is good for you is best for us because I know you you go to college you you um, working in uh, right now so i'm sure you're busy so we work with the students schedule